you're watching NTV tonight. Now, while the front line can provide a tough environment for soldiers due to the unpredictability of the threats that they face, a place that connects them with nature is something many look for to relax and clear their minds. One such place is Garden inside the Doble Forward Operating Base in Somalia. The garden doubles up as a smart farm which produces crops and as animals that supplement the soldiers' diets during their tour of duty. In her third installment of our special series on securing Somalia, Leila Mohammed gives us a tour of that garden. The sounds of the waterfall at the smart garden in Doble Ford operating base add to the calm in the middle of a mental storm posed by the threats that soldiers face on patrol while enforcing the peace in this border town of Somalia. This concept is anchored on is aesthetic, therapeutic and tonic or an environment that offers maximum and relaxation atmosphere for our soldiers after their tedious day work that they need to refresh for the following day. Another objective that this concept is anchored on is a learning tool that we have for the local community outside here. As the water rushes into the ponds below, many here say that it flows with their thoughts. The breeze they take in here gives them solace in the midst of an active battle. The different species of fish in this pond are part of the diet here and also a future source of income. We have three interconnected fish ponds. And this tilapia variant, so far the capacity we have is 250 fingerlings, ranging from the age of two weeks to three months. Within this garden are various aspects of farming, smartly laid out with space for meditation and reflection after a tedious day of work. Senior Sergeant Adawo says that this initiative of the 10th Army Som Command has become a learning point. Different groups come here to learn about modern and economic ways to farm within a small space and produce high yields. In order to secure the future of the coming generations, the soldiers have embarked on a tree planting initiative to increase the forest cover here, a project they say is also undertaken back home. We have indigenous variant of trees, as you can look around. We have neem trees, we have moringa olifera, we also have uh, almond trees. And these are drought resistant trees that normally require less water to survive. They act as uh, herbal medicine. All of us here are aware that neem tree, moringa olifera, they have medicinal values. <laughs> The soldiers plant a variety of vegetables in this garden. They also rear poultry that supplements the diet at the different messes within the base. Previously, we've donated to the local community 60 chicks for their breeding. This, they say, is used as a learning tool for the local community as well as the soldiers themselves. The Amisom 10 team that spearheads this project believes that this model can elevate the living standards of many. Leila Mohammed NTV, Doble in Somalia.